All right, quick little video on the DNM USD six fork. Not sure if they came with oil or not. My rebound adjust doesn't seem to do much unless I have it fully towards the plus, and then it slows it down way too much. So I'm gonna add oil because I'm not sure if it came with any or not. This is your rebound side. First thing I did was I let the air out. Let me see if I can show you that. Sorry, real quick video. Right there. Release the air through that Schrader valve. Just let it all out. First I removed this. It's got a little set screw in there. This is your rebound adjust screw. Loosen that, pulls right off. Next I remove this. It's got that little O-ring on there that the rebound knob sits in. And underneath all this was this crush washer right there. This sits there. This screws onto that. Right? Okay. Rebound knob goes on that. So you just do the reverse order. Release that set screw, pull this off, take that next nut off. And what I used was a uh, 10 millimeter. Remove this. And I used a magnet. To remove that crust washer. Well, I travel. Ooh. So anyway, you can actually press this down and out of the way. I don't know if you can see in there, but I'm gonna put some oil inside there because it did not come with any. I'm just gonna use my injector. I'm gonna put 10 milliliters of oil. That's what this takes. So I'm just going off of that. Got that off. It's my rebound leg. Nothing's coming out. It's bone dry. Let me just, let me cycle it a few times. Hold on to it, babe. I'm trying to have my son hold it. Let me cycle it a few times and see if anything comes out. Look at that. Not a drop of oil. And you can see how far I have it compressed. Why are we recording? Look at that. Why are we recording? Just to see that this thing came bone dry and I've been riding it like that, which is not smart. Okay, so I'm gonna add some oil. So this is what I have. I'm gonna inject 10 milliliters of shock oil directly into that opening right there. Can this stuff blow water off? What this stuff, way. buddy? What stuff? This way. This is what I'm using. Can this stuff blow water off? Can this stuff blow water off? Oh, that? Yeah. That's an air pump for the balls, buddy. Can it do it? No. You want to film me putting the soil in? I want to see if it... All right, I filled it up. You got a little right there, but I'll clean that up. I dropped that crush washer on there. Just like I said, everything in reverse order. This goes next. And this wasn't like 
super tight on. So I just, I probably put 12 pounds on it right now. I'm guessing. And this, probably want to line that up with that. Which, let me check it again right there. You see what I'm saying? That set little screw, you want to get into that hole. Just try to. Get it on there. It's a tiny little guy. Let's see if I can find the hole in the first shot. Bam. Clicks nice and smooth. Okay, I'm gonna put some air in it and do some cycling of the shock. Get that oil in there. All right, let me add some air. Okay, so I put about 80 PSI in there. My wife rides this bike now, so. There's another DNM component, performance suspension, shock pump. Like I said, 80 psi into the shock. There's another DNM part. RCP2S burner. All these things are cheap and dude. They work pretty damn good. No complaints, man. This shock or fork comes with shitty instructions. No dimensions, no breakdown, no nothing. That's why I'm just experimenting with it. So I might be getting this wrong, but we'll see. All right. Let's check this out. Open all the way. Nice and quick. Quick. Now watch this. This never used to do this. This is closed all the way. Watch this. What? So some real action is going on there. Let me put it in the middle. Let's see how this is. Look at that. More. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but definitely made a difference. Definitely made a difference. Do a quick walk around my budget bike. Wake handlebars off Amazon, 800 millimeter. Shimano XT. Probably the most I spent on this whole bike. What else do we got here? Another Amazon part. This neck right here, I think it's 60 millimeters. My shifter. Dropper seat post. KS. Also off Amazon. My DNM rear shock. 
RCP2S burner. The bike is a 2004 or 5 Iron Horse Warrior 4.5. DM shocks, USD6, 160 mil travel. My XT brakes with the 203 front rotor with that red adapter. Fuker pedals, also an Amazon product, or Amazon, you can buy it on Amazon. These are the original cranks, FSA, Alpha Drive, Single Pivot, Hope, Derailer, or Derailer, what am I saying? Hope Axle Quick Release, old school style, not the big ones. My Dior XT. I also have an adapter. I got a 180 mil rear rotor. Um, Max's tires, DH, DHR2 on the rear. Oh, you know what? And DHR2 on the front also. 2.4 wide. Some race face effect. Tubeless rims. Put a little fender on there. Let me see what else. WTB seat. Speed. Also off Amazon. Oh, this is off Amazon. Budget bike. Here we go. I also got those end caps on Amazon. DNM USD six. 100 millimeter, it's not a boost, it's 100 millimeter wide through axle. One and one eighth non tapered stem, so it's the old school style. Rebound adjust, which I just adjusted. You got your lockout up here, your compression, it really works. I made the mistake of letting all the air out on a ride because I thought I had too much air. Over here. And so I had to lock this out to get down the mountain and it actually worked really well, stayed pretty stiff. All right, what else do we got? Solo Drive Industries. Narrow, wide, tooth chain ring it is come on baby 32 tooth right there and then back here XTR shifter that I had laying around um, that's actually a Shimano sprocket and how many speeds is this? I don't even know. I haven't rode it in a while. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten speed. So it's a one by ten. One by ten. And I believe that's a 42 tooth on the rear. No, it's got to be bigger than that. Anyway, all this stuff is on Amazon. The only thing I didn't get on Amazon was these rims. I got those on Pink Bike, local pickup, 200 bucks, which is a steal. This is an older bike, 2004, five. All built off Amazon. Oh, and the brakes. Those were not an Amazon item. Those were JensenUSA.com. 
Now this is what I ride now. Couldn't pass it up. Specialized Enduro Comp. Extra large. One of the reasons I got away from this, this is a large. I'm six foot one, 200 pounds. It just doesn't fit me. I mean, it does fit me, but not. I like big things. So, a buddy of mine was selling this. Could not pass it up. It's a beast. This is a scalpel. This is a machete, if you know what I mean. I forgot to mention the tires there. 2.4 wide. There you go. Tubeless ready. 27.5 by 2.4 wide. Maxxis Minion DHR2. Same on the rear. All right. Well, I guess it's kind of my bike breakdown. If you have any questions, just feel free to comment. I'll answer. All right, man. Have fun out there. Be safe.